up everybody and welcome back to King Creeps where we react to all things creepy and scary. This is your boy Angel here once again with another one about to react to another video, another scary video, another video with ghosts and goblins and other scary stuff. Yeah, so this is what we're about to do and the channel we're about to react to is Goose Pimples. Guys, I love Goose Pimples. We, are always, we always have a good time with Goose Pimples. So Goose Pimple, thank you for everything you do. So guys, if you can, listen, if you can, this is not something that we enforce on you or we just say that you better do it, but we appreciate if you do. And what we appreciate if you do is to subscribe, like, share, hit the notification button, click on all, see all the videos we post. We post in three to five days a week, guys, and we're having a good time. Yes, so remember, subscribe, notification, click on all, so you can see all the videos. It's, all, it's always a good time, it's always a good time. So guys, let's get into the video. So guys, we're about to get into this video. Hope you guys are ready. Let's go. Goose pimples. <laughs> I like goose and I don't like pimples. I don't know. Just wanted to make fun of those sleeping at a wedding. In this old ass video, someone <laughs> just, just wanted to make. He just said old ass video. That's funny. I think I've seen this one, but we're gonna continue. In this old ass video, someone just wanted to make fun of those sleeping at a wedding ceremony. But after laughing at the kids sleeping next to his mum and a few other bored guests, the person filming caught a harrowing sight that you'll wish it only existed in your nightmares. Take a look. Yeah, you see that? It's like a. It looks like a. Either there seems to be some. It's either a woman with her face covered, right? Which would be weird, or a spirit. You could kind of see the eyes and the mouth and the nose, but it doesn't look like very, uh, very clear. You can't see like the details of it. You can only see kind of like the shape of it a little bit. Um, but yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? You think this is really a ghost? Or is, it, or is it a person? Oh. Brian's veil. A ghostly figure who clearly doesn't fit in with the rest. Could yeah. that have just been a woman with a veil casually sitting at the back and enjoying her own creep fest? Could have been. Perhaps a disgruntled ex, maybe. But <laughs> take a good look and let us know what you think in the comments. Number four, four. real life guardian angels. Do you believe in guardian angels? Keep that question in mind because the two scary videos you're about to watch will definitely make you think about them. Take a look at the first one. Okay, we see a dude standing by a fence. I'm guessing something crazy is about to happen, like a car coming. This kid was standing by the roadside, probably waiting for a taxi, when he just felt the need to stretch his legs by kicking some stones. Little did he know that he was being led away from a crash that would have most definitely claimed his life. Just imagine what would have happened if... So the question is, is it a guardian angel? I don't know. Or it could just be coincidence that he just walked away. You just never know with these things. What do you guys think? You believe in angels? I do, but uh, would that the situation here? I don't know. He stood I feel like if it was something in that case, it would look like he was pushed away or pulled away or something like that. I could be wrong. I've never dealt with an angel besides myself because <laughs> my name is Angel. Um, but yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? Comment down below. There, just a few more seconds while that car was obviously losing control. But if you thought that guy had one hell of a guardian angel or whatever, then you need to see this next clip. Let's watch. Let's see this one. Oh, oh, oh. While planning to take some stock down to the storeroom, this man was fortunate enough to take a step out of the elevator wow. just as the elevator's line burst. You could still sense the shock on his face as he... Tr yeah, he was literally inches away from getting squashed. Inches. That is cr... See, this one, this one, I don't know. Man, is it Garden Angel or is it just coincidence? Either way, they're both crazy. They could have been, like, they could have been murdered, like squashed and... And dead. Yeah, that's crazy. Wow. I'd explaining to others. 
He's so close. Real life guardian angels or the Grim Reaper taking a well-deserved day off. Let us know your thoughts. Yeah, especially that second one, that was so close. Like, wow. Number three, Ghost on live radio. The radio presenters at this station were going about their day like any other when an utterly nerve-wracking incident happened and changed their mood for the rest of the day. Here's what they experienced. Something or someone yanked that newspaper off the table. Now, it's easy to assume this was done by the breeze, a string or even a nearby fan. But we get a full view of the area where the newspaper flew. There are no fans around. Plus, if it was someone pulling a string from the control room, they would have to open a hole in the glass, and that surely would defeat the whole objective of having a soundproof room. Ooh. Yeah, for the fact that it's a, probably a podcast or radio station, whatever it is, you don't want to have windows open when you hear the breeze through the, through the mics. Um, so I'm pretty sure that's not the case. And if it was a breeze, I feel like it would lift up the newspaper that was on top, not the one on the bottom. This one was like in the middle. So yeah, there's, there's probably something in there. Yeah, they should, they should check that out. <laughs> Definitely something in there. What'd you guys think? That, that, was, that was different. Yeah, if it was wind, I would think the top one would fly off first compared to the middle one. And uh, yeah, I don't think somebody's pulling that. Well, what do they gain out of it? Nothing. So I don't know. Comment down below, let me know what you think. So for it to be a breeze, the other newspapers would also fly, or the bottom especially one. the one on top. Exactly. The radio presenters look genuinely confused by what he just experienced too. But what do you think? Just a clever hoax or something weird going on? Let us know. Number two, bratty poltergeist. The following creeping ass footage shows a supposedly haunted building, which according to the uploader, had no one inside other than him. And boy, would he later regret making the decision of going there alone. Get ready, because he captured a paranormal cocktail that will leave you gasping. Take a look. Yes. I want to see something good. Somebody throw it, son. So I don't know where this is located, where this is filmed, but I feel like, I'm not gonna say, I don't know what country it is. So I don't, I don't but if I feel like videos from countries like this, they're very dramatic. Like they exaggerate everything when it comes to like how scared they are, how they scream and how they, everything, their whole interaction is, is very dramatic. So it's, I don't know, it's hard to believe if it's real or not. Um, and that in this case, things flying around, it could be somebody outside of the window throwing things inside. So you just, you never really know. Um, but if it's real, then that's crazy. Cause, um, they, they, they're going to hurt them throwing these stuff. <laughs> Are you locked in now? <laughs> Why would you do that? After exploring most parts of the building, he comes upon a section giving off the Scooby Doo vibes as he starts hearing things crashing from the song. But as that was pretty funny, the Scooby Doo vibes. He starts getting closer. It soon gets way too real for comfort. It seems like someone had flung the pipe towards him, but he immediately dashed into the room with hopes of finding who or what had done it. But there was no one to be found inside the room. There's no way anyone could hide that quickly either. And as he tried to find some shelter in the other room, <laughs> the perils outside had to go up a notch. Ah! 
his nightmare was far from ending. Ooh. Minhun! Minhun, Minhun, Minhun! They're very violent. I don't know why he's still in there. There's some violent ghosts. Why did you turn the way where the ghost was? Like, that's my thing, like, if the right door is the one doing most of the stuff, right? Why not go in and turn to the right and show what's there? But no, first thing he does is turn to the left. So if there is somebody stand back, standing back there, they could hide real quick. Uh, that's, that's the thing that gets me. They always run the opposite way of where the ghost would be, right? So uh, that's why I question all this stuff. I, I'm a very big question. First, listen, <laughs> I, I, yeah, I just question everything. As he thought he might have found a little bit of solace in the bathroom, something began to mess with the door, sticking a pipe into the hole in the door while objects were thrown at him. He knows he's no longer safe in that place, so he goes outside to the spine-tingling experience that awaits. Minhun! one hell of a mad poltergeist house now. At this point, we could assume that there's something paranormal going on here. Everything happens so fast and he's pretty quick to show that there is no one around to cause these strange activities. Mm, nah. Soon enough, he realizes things are getting out of hand and makes for the exit. But there is enough time for one final act. <laughs> Johnny Huang. While he was on the stairs, he heard a sound from behind, and before he could finish his spiritual recitations to avoid any attachments, he felt something pushing him down the stairs. What do you think of his horror experience? Leave a comment and let us know. <gasps> Found a scary video you'd like us to feature? Uh, it's a I don't know how I felt about that one. I feel like, like it's all explainable. Like, I mean, there's, there's a way to fake it, so. I don't know. I really don't know how I feel. Listen, so my son has ADHD. Yeah, ADHD. So we bought these vitamins that's supposed to help him focus for when he goes to school. And I wanted to see how good they work. So I'm like, you know what, let me take one. So I took one. 
I, I feel myself just like, like on the camera, I mean on the video, I'm like, Ugh. so I don't know if it's just mentally, because I know that I took it, or it's actually working, but I know I just, my eyes are like lasered to the screen, so I might need those more often because I, I, I get really uh, distracted, especially when I was in school, I couldn't focus, so I wish I had this back then. <laughs> so Facebook, let's continue. Twitter or Instagram at Goose Pimples YT. Also, if you've ever had a scary or paranormal experience, send us a voice note to hello at goosepimplesyt.com. You know that he's promoting this. Listen, guys, if you've been following me for a while, I have an Instagram, I have TikTok, and I have a, a Twitter. They're all on the King Creeps 3. Go look for me. Um, there I post things I'm going to be doing, uh, random pictures of me and my, and my kids, you know, here in the studio and things we do together. Um, I would love for you guys to go over there and check it out um, like that. You know, we could, we could communicate, have conversations and, and let me know what you guys think and stuff. And you can see all the things we're going to be doing new. So go check it out. Twitter, uh, TikTok and Instagram, King Creeps 3. All right, go check it out. We'll play your story on our second channel, Goose Pimpling Stories. Number one, the ghost of Sylvia Likens. The story of Sylvia Likens is one that is both horrifying and heartbreaking. The American teenager was tortured and neglected by her caregiver before she eventually died from extensive injuries and malnourishment on October 26, 1965. The story gets more stomach churning when you discover that her younger sister was coerced into torturing her along with the other children of her caregiver. The defense attorney described it as, quote, acts of degradation that you wouldn't commit on a dog. All those involved was were crazy. tried and rightfully sentenced to years behind bars. Sadly, some believe that even after her death, her spirit continues to seek rest. And this video, uploaded by YouTuber Carlos Coy135, brings to light some shocking discoveries about the house. Take a look. Where was the basement, my brother? Oh, I think I've seen this. This is the basement where the little girls torture. Yeah, then they saw something oh, down, down there, right this there. Fucking freak, was it there? As you can see, this is what the basement looked like. That's fucked. Oh, hell no, this is really serious, too. Do not help. That's not help. That's After going round to the basement, they find an opening where they stick their camera and catch something utterly frightening. Huh. Did you hear the scream? The camera catches huh. a faint voice saying, can you help me? But they didn't hear it at first, so as they turned away, a scream can be heard calling out to them saying, help. <laughs> Again, they did I wouldn't call it a scream, more like a whisper, but yeah, I hear it. <laughs> hear it and went away. Could that have been the ghost of Sylvia Likings? Let us know what you think. But before you go, let's watch today's bonus video. Oh. Bonus. Ghost crashes bar. Bonus. Worse than dealing with drunk customers at the bar is dealing with drunk entities at the haunted bar. The occasional glass smashing or chair moving on its own was already stressful enough for the staff of this pub, but this had to be the last straw. Oh. At first glance, you might mm. think of this as nothing more than a badly stacked wine shelf. Yes. But with everything they've experienced in that place, the staff members were not surprised, especially after looking at the CCTV camera. There seems to be a reflection on the machine. We can see a shadow figure walking towards the shelf just a few seconds before the mm. incident. But could this be something paranormal caught on camera? Or, or it could be somebody on the other side of... So you got, let me see, you got this right here. Maybe on this side of it, there's somebody walking across and then that fell. So that's where the shadow was coming from. Um, now, if there's a wall there, then we know that's not the case, but we can't see it was there. So maybe, I don't know. Some faulty furniture. It's up to you 
but be sure to let us know in the comments. Has this compilation freaked you out? Well, get ready, no. because this terrifying compilation full of creepy stuff caught on camera is perfect for you to watch next. Don't forget to subscribe. So guys, that's the end of the video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Um, there's something we do, we call it the scare meter where we rate the videos from one to 10. One, it was horrible, and 10, it was so scary that it made me poop my pants. Damn. Right, so uh, I'm about to rate it, and if you can't comment down below, let me know what you think. Did you like any of these videos? Did you like the whole video in, in general? Um, I would really like to know. I would like to have a conversation with you guys. Um, I love when you guys comment. I appreciate every person who comments. Um, it's always a blessing to see somebody want to be involved in our channel. So, um, so yeah, I'm gonna rate it. I'm gonna give this one uh, three. Uh, it was, it was, it was okay. Um, I, out of the out of the five that I seen, or so well, six because the bonus, I had seen two of them be already before, so it wasn't like eh. Um, so I'm not gonna say it was scary. It was it was okay. It was it was decent. So I'm gonna give it a three because of that. So comment down below. Let me know what you think. What you give it. Um, and uh, yeah, just let me. If there's any other video you want me to check out or you think that I should be reacting to, um, I'm more than willing to check it out. All right. So uh, like I said, check out my Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Uh, comment right here. Um, like this video, it really helps the, the algorithm get this video out there. Um, so uh, King Creeps, all three platforms, or well, four, it's King Creeps. So uh, King Creeps 3, sorry. So go do that, check it out, let's, let's, let's talk to each other. I would love to have communication with you guys um, and have conversations. So guys, thank you for joining me. Thank you for being here with us. Thank you for being part of this channel. If you can, take a second, go subscribe, like, share, hit the notification button, click on all, so you can see all the videos we post. Uh, we post three to five days a week and we're having a great time doing this and we're having a great time being part you being part of our family so guys with that being said remember if it's creepy or scary we'll watch it see you on the next one deuces